Hi right, guys, so in front of me, this is my 2009 250 XCF. I've owned it for roughly four years, and I have not once, I'll say it again, not once set the suspension sag. All I wanna do in this video is simply show you how to swap for a correct spring, and it should be roughly the same for Husky, Berg, and uh, KTM, and it doesn't matter if it's PDS or linkage, uh, swapping the coil is gonna be relatively the same. So let's get to it. The first thing we have to do is remove the two bolts. They're 13 millimeter bolts. I've already cracked them loose, so I'm just gonna pull them out by hand. So now that the shock is off the bike, what I need to do is I need to get the ring, uh, this compression ring, loosened so that I can get the coil off. And what I'm gonna do is, because I need to relieve pressure and whatnot, I'm gonna soft jaw it in my vise and go from there. I don't actually have soft jaws, so I'm just using cardboard. I need a four millimeter Allen key, and I'm gonna break this bolt loose. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna allow me to rotate this compression collar, uh, I'm sorry, this preload collar. And if you can't spin it, so mine's, mine's a little bit tight. Uh, if you can't spin it, you can use a screwdriver You can use a screwdriver to spin it. The real tool is called a spanner wrench. Uh, I do not have one. I don't really have a reason to own one. One of the other tricks that you see me doing now is if you grab the actual coil itself, ow, and just spin, uh, spin the coil itself, there's enough friction between the actual spring and this preload ring and it'll be able to you'll be able to walk it right out. I'm at a point where my preload ring has got a pretty significant gap. I've got like 3 eighths of an inch and I can move the coil back and forth. So now what I need to do is at the bottom here, this lip, uh, this machine lip that holds your spring on moves upward. There's a snap ring at the bottom, and I'm gonna remove that. It's not on there, it's not on there very tight, so I can just use my fingers. That snap ring comes right off. I can lift up the shock, and I can slide the, the coil right off. Assembly is exact opposite. I'm gonna take my new coil, and because I'm anal, I've got the 72250 facing the right direction. I'm then going to take my spacer, I'm sorry, my huge washer, and then I'm going to take the bottom machined part here. Now my snap ring goes back on. And that's all there is to it. My snap ring, my snap ring's back in place. This will sit right against it. And now I can go ahead and tighten up my preload collar against the shock. Preload collar has now made contact with the actual coil, and while I've got it on the bench, I figure now is the best time to make this adjustment, because when it's in the bike, it's very hard uh, to manipulate this collar. The adjustment that I'm speaking of is the initial adjustment before you even insert the shock back into the bike. And that's dimension A on this picture. Uh, this next photo from the manual shows you the different bikes and what the initial um, preload adjuster should be set to. And for mine, I have the 250 XCF, the USA model. Uh, mine should be five millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this bolt. This is gonna stop the collar from walking backwards and loosening up. And I don't have a torque wrench handy, so I'm not gonna blue vein it. At this point, the only thing left to do is reinsert the shock into the bike. And while we've got these bolts out, it's a really good time to put some grease on there. Uh, my bolts haven't been out of the bike for a while, so it's a really good idea to either put some NICs or grease so that next time you need to do some maintenance you'll be able to take it apart. So 
So at this point, it's a moment of truth. Until I actually break out a measuring tape, I won't know. I mean, I can tell you that right now it's sitting much higher, which obviously it, it should. Um, so anywho, that's how you swap out a spring. In this case, it was a PDS shock, but again, it'll work for the uh, XC's, the linkage version. So that's how you swap out a spring. Thanks for watching.